Well, one of the highlights since the SEC media days are in Birmingham, Hoover area of Alabama. It's when the Crimson Tide rolled into town, and that was today. The chaos kind of goes up a couple levels, doesn't it? Phil Savage, the executive director of the Reese's Senior Bowl, joins us. Alabama, always a highlight here, and uh, they were again today. Nick Saban, always a, a big draw. Yeah, the Bama Nation comes out in force in the hotel lobby here <laughs> at the Winfrey, but I think the two questions that everybody has asked me over the entire summer, who's going to be the quarterback, yeah. and are we going to be better playing the ball in the air in the defensive secondary. Let's start with the quarterback first. Nick Saban said something to us on Sirius XM radio that I thought was really interesting. He said that Blake Sims last year won the team. He didn't win the job, he won the team. And that's what they're looking for between Jake Coker, David Cornwell, Alec Morris, whoever the other candidates might be that when Alabama starts their practices. So he's looking for a guy that can rally the troops, that the receivers, the line, the running backs can believe in, the defense can look across the line and say, hey, that's the guy that's gonna help us be a successful team. And right now, I think Jake Coker goes in with a bit of a head start and we'll see if he can go ahead and solidify the job. The other question, that the other point that I would make about the quarterbacks, it's not who, but how they're going to be utilized. And what I mean by that is last year, Nick Saban and Lane Kiffin wrapped and shaped an offense around the talents of Blake Sims. Neither Jake Coker nor David Cornwell are similar to Blake Sims. So whichever one they choose, how will they shape and wrap an offense around the quarterback that they choose. To me, that's a huge key. And the defensive backfield, specifically at the corners, that's another concern. Yeah, I think the cornerbacks will play a better brand of football this year. Mel Tucker was brought in from the Chicago Bears, long career in the NFL, but he was actually a young coach under Nick Saban back at Michigan State. So he speaks the same language, he grew up in the same system, and I think between players like Cyrus Jones, Bradley Silve, Marlon Humphrey, Tony Brown, Geno Smith, Maurice Smith. Uh, there's a host of candidates that all have a year of experience on the belt. Now, some of those experiences were not good last year, but I think that they will grow. And again, with Kirby Smart shifting from the secondary to the linebackers, I think the communication will be better from front to back. And this front seven should be able to control the run game, put pressure on the quarterback, which should put the ball in harm's way for these defensive backs to make some plays. Uh, a lot of new faces, but one thing that will never change at the University of Alabama, especially in the Nick Saban era, the pressure and expectation to win. He told a funny story today at his uh, press conference that he was at the lake in Georgia eating a nice dinner with his family, and this elderly couple came up and said, hey, can we take a picture with the coach? He said, well, sure, I'd love to. And as they walked away, the, the, the older woman's like, maybe we'll, maybe we'll win this year, coach. And he's just like, <laughs> they won 12 games in an SEC championship. Apparently that's not enough. And in, part of the first Alabama. ever college football playoff, yeah. but it was not enough. And yeah. hey, that's why this has been such a successful marriage. Yeah. Because Nick Saban demands that of himself and the Alabama fan base, they demand that of their team.